Hello everyone, my name is Teja and I am a student at Naipur Mohali pursuing my Masters in Pharmacology and Toxicology. In this video, I will be providing you with a comprehensive information about Naipur including details about Naipur Joint Entrance Exam. If you find the video playback speed to be slow, try to increase to 1.5x for better viewing experience. So let's discuss. First, Naipur Ahmedabad. Naipur Ahmedabad established in 2007. Naipur Ahmedabad offers postgraduate and doctoral programs in pharmaceutical sciences. Next one is Naipur Guwahati. It is uh, established in 2008. Naipur Guwahati is the latest addition to the Naipur family. It offers same postgraduate and uh, PhD programs in pharmaceutical sciences and uh, Naipur Hazipur it is established in 2007 and Naipur Hyderabad it is in 2007 and Kolkata also 2007 and Naipur Raiburli it is established it was established in 2008 and Naipur Mohali it is established in 1991. Naipur Mohali is the first and oldest Naipur. It offers same postgraduate and PhD programs in pharmaceutical sciences. All the Naipurs are the Autonomous Institute of National Importance under the Ministry of Chemical and Fertilizers Government of India. They are dedicated to the education and research in pharmaceutical sciences and are known for their excellence in teaching, research and innovation the curriculum and research activity in all naipers designed to meet the demands of pharmaceutical industry and to contribute the growth of pharmaceutical sector in india so let's dive deeper this is the naiper okay see we can see mohali rai belly ahmedabad hajipur guwahati kolkata and hyderabad these are the seven naipers This is the seed matrix of master program of seven Naipers. You can see here Ahmedabad, Guwahati, Hajipur, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Raiburli, Sasanagar, and these are the total seeds. This is the this is the master of pharmacy. This is the master of science known as MS. This is the master of Te technology M Tech. This is master of science same medical devices, and this is MBA. It is nothing but master of MBA, Master of Business Administration. Only three colleges that are providing MBA that is none other than Ahmedabad, Hyderabad as well as Sasnagar. Sasnagar is nothing but Mohali. You can see here um, Biopharmaceuticals, M-Tech. It comes under M-Tech. This is the new branch that is going to be started in Naipur Mohali. They are providing 10 seats. This, uh, and uh, you can see here how many seats like for every branch previously for pharmacology and toxicology it used to be 21 or 20 seats now they increase 9 seats in Mohali you can see like number of seats in every, each and every college now let's discuss about NIRF ranking what is NIRF NIRF is nothing but national institutional ranking framework Naipur Hyderabad has been ranked second in the pharmacy category in the NIRF ranking released in 2001 this is a ranked second and uh, the QS world this is a uh, Sasnagar is nothing but Mohali um, Mohali it stands for like first in India seventh in Asia and 44th ranking globally QRS this is all about Q, QS world you know uh, university ranking is a global ranking system that evaluate university based on six matrices like for example academic reputation uh, in academic reputation matrix this matrix is based on opinions of academics worldwide about the quality of research and teaching at a particular university and employer reputation this all all depends upon uh, faculty and student ratio and the citation per faculty and international faculty ratio and student uh, international 
student ratio this all like qs old ranking um, use a university ranking use a combination of this matrix matrix this all six matrix to evaluate and rank the university world uh, worldwide so naipur mohali is a one of the top best pharmaceutical institutes in the country ranking along some of the best iits the institutes boasts an impressive campus placement record with almost 100% of students placed in last year a figure that has been increased steadily year on year on on year top companies from various company various pharma hubs across the india regularly visit naipur for placement and offer excellent salary and packages to the students the average package per year around 4 to 5 average the campus placement drive sees around um 300 students including phds participate each year with 200 students successfully placed while other opt for phd or other reasons they opt for other things naipur is a fantastic opportunity for the student seeking a career in pharmaceutical industry even if a student does not secure a job through a campus placement they need not to worry about their future prospects they can easily contact companies via mail and forward their resume to land a job off campus naipur is the largest pharmaceutical institution in asia equipped with a top class facility for research not only research like personality or skill development students leaving naipur after completing their degrees are transformed and equipped with the skills they need to excel in their chosen field and when comes to naipur ahmedabad <coughs> it is a uh, when you it has been ranked in 10th in nrf ranking what is eligibility criteria from uh, for gpad for, uh, for naipur gpad and gate or net qualified and minimum 60 marks in the aggregate or cgpa of 6.75 on a 10 point scale and relaxation in cgpa to 6.25 or in marks to 55% is allowed for sc and st candidates for physically handicapped cgpa to 7.5.75 or in the marks to 50% or equal equivalent this is the eligibility criteria for naipur je see we can see now application process like this time naipur guwahati is conducting naipur je you can see you can follow naipur guwahati dot ac dot com you can find all the browser everything what i have been teaching you in this slides in this lesson i have taken all from naipur guwahati website the process of online application shall commence on april 17 2023 already it has been started and 23 onwards and will continue till may 16 you will be having till 16 may 2023 see application fee all master courses except medicinal devices you can see the fee there for scst candidates 1500 all master except medical device and ipg phd you can see fees and master in medical device you can see 3000 for scst 1500 you can see all the fees category in this application fee see the main important thing is that when will be the exam 23rd june will be exam naipur je 2023 examination is scheduled to be held on 23rd june in 2023 and will be organized by as i previously told you that naipur guwahati interested students can apply for the examination through the official website as i told you previously that is naiparguwahati.com further details and uh, regarding the examination including eligibility criteria application process and syllabus can be found on official website and i previously told you on previous slides you can see here um ms the fee one time payment fees 
like for MBA as well as for MS, MPharm, MTech, this is the fee structure. For MBA, this is the fee structure. You have to pay how much at a time you have to pay um, one lakh five thousand eight hundred twenty-two rupees. This is uh, the tuition fee will be twenty-six thousand twenty-six thousand twenty-two rupees. Uh, for SC and SC or ST candidate, there will be no tuition fee, but they have to pay this admission, alumni fund, hostel admission, group insurance, security amount, and placement fee. Placement fee will be four thousand, and there will be no tuition fee for SC ST candidates, and uh, for general OBC, EWBC, they have to pay fifty three thousand three hundred total fifty two. 1496 plus 53326 all combined it goes to it will be 1 rupees for sc sc candidate they will be paying 79800 for each semester they have to pay there will be four semesters in masters for each semester we have to pay 50 53326 for sc sc students they have to pay Twenty-seven thousand three hundred four. For this is MBA. For MBA, the tuition fee will be higher. That is one lakh eleven thousand nine hundred sixty-eight. For SC ST students, there will be no tuition fee. Rest of uh, rest of all, everything will be same, except tuition fee. Everything will be same. So, general or OBC or EWBC, they will be going to pay one thousand twenty-six. One lakh twenty-six thousand two hundred seventy-eight. While for SC ST candidates, they are going to pay fourteen thousand two hundred ninety. This is the for SC ST students. For this is the OB, OBC, General E, WSC. You can see everything here. Everything that has been written here, you can see. Mm. All admitted students except MBA and and sponsored by government or research or public sector undertaking or reputed will be getting provide will be provided with a stipend twelve thousand four hundred per month month subject to obtaining minimum CGPA six. What is all about? What does it mean? It means that. MS people will be getting stipend twelve thousand five hundred, but they should have minimum CGPA of six in each semester. There are four semesters, but in each semester they should have six points. And in case CGPA, sir, what if CGPA is less than six, but more than five point five, the stipend of the student shall be withheld till she obtains minimum CGPA. Uh, as long as she is getting less than uh, less than six, it will be held. If she gets above above six point zero, they will provide you stipend twelve thousand five hundred. Then, sir, what about MBA? How they will get stipend? So, institution will provide final assistance to MBA also. But the criteria is three top students of MBA program. The one who are like the three toppers will be getting uh, financial assistance. Like they will be providing, like central government will be providing twelve thousand four hundred for them. The financial assistance will be given to the students during second, third, fourth semester. It says that there will be no final assistance for MBA guys in first semester. <clears throat> matriculation certificate or birth certificate as a proof of these are the document required for the iper je examination like matriculation certificate and birth certificate as a proof of age and correct name and second one is mark sheets of all semesters and years of qualifying degree candidates who are appearing for final qualifying degree they must upload all mark uh, mark sheets there are eight semester in b form we should You should be able to um, upload all eight eight uh, eight semesters marks list um, to to the like upload all the mark sheets up to the pre-qualifying examination in a single PDF only. 
certificate of reservation for SC and ST if applicable and certification of reservation and certification of income showing if you are NCL non criminal you should apply as well as certification of reservation for EWS if you are economically weaker section you have to uh, should apply the you should have certification of reservation for that and also certification of disability and self assisted copy of other or other identity cards and sponsorship certificate if applicable and passport size photographs and signature these are all documents required